Enjoy this visual demonstration from synthrotech.com. So we're back here with the Chaos NAND synthesizer. Where they, is that the Chaos NAND synthesizer? Sure, oh, oscillator. Oscillator, oscillator yeah, synthesizer. Yeah. And this is another chaotic design, you might guess by the name. Basically, this little unit has three square wave oscillators. So if we just put an output in it, it has on off switches for two of the square wave oscillators and controls for all three. Um, we can bring up a handy square wave here, and it's just a basic square wave. We turn this knob, we change the pitch. Now this thing does track the CV input, and if we put a sort of normal pitch sequence type CV input into it, we get more or less a pitch CV output. This does not track volt per octave. It more or less tracks exponentially, but this is not what you'd use to do Mozart, is what we're saying here. Um, the fun comes when you start adding in the other square wave oscillators. Let's go ahead and add oscillator one. And this is just a steady frequency now, beating against that oscillator producing some different noises. Now if we run the same CV in there, again, it, they both track together. These the actual pitch of these things is controlled by a vacrol, which is why you get a nice glide between pitches rather than an abrupt jump. Again, this is suited toward noisy and chaotic kind of things. So the pitches are swooping and moving and we're having all kinds of fun here. So just for the sake of novelty, let's add the third oscillator. Again, we can use it as a constant sort of beating frequency against things. Or we can move it around. So let's go ahead and move it around with a different sort of CV from our random friend, the Logobug, which is also clocking everything in this episode. So now you get all sorts of fun happening gliding all over the place. The other um, interesting thing about this is that the CV inputs are actually bipolar. So if we put something like a wave in, we can switch this guy to bipolar. And whichever direction we go, we get a change. So really flexible as far as the kind of control voltages you can stuff in here to get all sorts of wild and crazy sounding results. But there's even more fun available because if you notice there's one, let's kind of reduce our chaos here a little bit, there's actually one more jack left and that jack is the sag in jack. And what the SAG inject does is actually control the power supply voltage. So if you start messing with the power supply voltage, this is a feature that you find on a lot of gu guitar distortion pedals and Voodoo Labs power supplies. You start messing with the power supply voltage and you get interesting things. Now one of the fun things you can do is just take away the power supply voltage. We're using our pressure points as a sequencer here. So if I just take away the voltage at a couple places, all of a sudden we're gating like crazy here. And we're also doing kind of interesting things to the sound because it's, it's starting and stopping all the time. So we can starve it in different ways.
and now we're getting a whole different sort of set of effects. Now for some a different variation on that, of course, we can just use a gate. And then it'll be gated. Or not a gate, but an envelope, rather. And now you have yet another wonderful, wonderful bit of noise and chaos from your buddies at Sensor Tech.